Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials, my name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this isometric house by building first the simple mock-up from this house and then I will show you how to apply this textures in Gravit Designer. So let's get started with a new document, Alt N option N and we will design on the simple grid first from the simple shape, basic shape. So grab the rectangle and draw a rectangle, then grab the pen tool and draw a triangle and then combine them by using the boolean shape operators and then uh, convert it to the path and make an outline grab another rectangle and draw the window grab another rectangle to use the SSR method SSR states for scale shear rotate or skew rotate and we need to head over to the transform panel and here we have 86.6 percent for vertical scale we have also Two values in our uh, rotate and skew so it tunes there is a metric to the left now we need to grab the grid and adjust the shape as you can see this SSR uh, doesn't work in gravit properly so we need to adjust it towards the grid so to make sure that everything from your artwork on the axis on the isometric axis now the we need to draw their windows in order to do this we need to first convert the rectangle to the path and give it color then make it duplicate and remove the fill color and introduce the stroke i'll use the beige color now go to the advanced stroke settings and move it to the outside and then go to the modify path and vectorize the border now we need to uh, to add another frame with the simple uh, line tool and delete the fill introduce the border and again give it the seven points of three now we are going to draw the highlight you need to draw the triangle set it uh, to the gradient the fill set the fill to the gradient the default gradient will be okay and now choose the blending mode from this drop down it will be screen blending mode and decrease the opacity to 30 percent now for those who are using the pro ver version of graphic designer i will show you one of the advantage we can create the symbol and put everything inside. Now we can duplicate the symbol, creating the instance of this symbol in our composition. It will be a wonderful way how you can then replicate the changes to all instances. Okay, so let's delete the border and introduce the field to our house and start using the pen tool so switch to the pen tool or pass tool as it's called in Gravit start drawing the other frames Now that we have our roof, we can go ahead and create the volume for this roof and in order to do this, you can create it from scratch or make it duplicate, delete the fill from this duplicate, add the border, darken the border a bit, increase the border weight to around 10 points vectorize the border modify pass vectorize the pass and then change it and i will show you what it takes to change it in order to get this volume on your roof and then you will decide what is better for you either we create this from scratch or by using this method
Now we have our house and we can build another projection, the right one. We need to start again from the rectangle then draw the triangle, so the same basic scene and we will be using the SSR method uh, with the opposite values in the skew and skip and rotate sorry the reason why i'm using the ssr and gravit uh, even if i know that it's not working properly it's because it lays down the fight foundation it helps you with the structure with the basic understanding of this projection so combine it into the compound shape then create a compound path from it and then head over to the transform panel and use the same value of the scale but negative 30 in the skew and negative 30 in rotate values.
the symbols in the graphic design. So first we need to find the master symbol. To find the master symbol, go to the symbols panel and double click on the symbol icon. It will show both your master symbol and your instance. But of course, because you created the master symbol before the instance, the master will be always on the bottom. So now you can go ahead, grab the path tool, for example, and start creating something and put this something inside your symbol. Take a look. And as you can see, it will be replicated by the instance immediately. This is how you can draw and see the result immediately by using the symbols in the Gravity Designer Pro. Okay, I hope you And this is it guys, this is the end of this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do enjoy it, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends, and don't forget that next tutorial I will show you how to add textures and customize this isometric house. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day.